In AFL news, St Kilda tagger Stephen Baker is currently before the AFL tribunal seeking to have his record suspension reduced. He's accepted seven weeks for three of the charges but is contesting the fourth. Should tonight's challenge fail though, he's facing nine weeks on the sidelines. Lisa Maximovic is at the tribunal keeping an eye on the case for us and joins us now live. Lisa, what can you tell us? Well, Ian, the Saints arrived here at the tribunal to challenge two of the four charges against Stephen Baker, but after they reviewed the footage of the third striking charge, they in fact decided to plead guilty. They said the AFL had better footage than what they'd had access to at the club. So pleading guilty at the final hour, that made his suspension tally rise to seven matches. Now the tribunal is deliberating on the fourth charge, and that is of unreasonable contact with an injured player. Stephen Baker that Baker wasn't even to know that Steve Johnson was injured. He didn't receive treatment on his broken hand until after the first quarter. But legal counsel for the tribunal is saying that it is such an unusual move he hit the hand of an, opposi of an opposition player, he must have known that Johnson was injured. If Stephen Baker is found guilty of that fourth charge tonight, he'll have to sit out on the sideline for nine matches. That'll take him through to the end of the uh, home and away season this year. So the very silver lining for Saints fans is that either way he will, he will be back for finals. OK, Lisa, thank you very much. Lisa Maximovic reporting and, of course, if we do get that result before the bulletin finishes, we'll bring it to you.